Okay, this system provides a very good opportunity for us to evaluate the drought tolerance among the wheat cultivars and evaluate the dry land wheat management. Uh, uh, as you know, we haven't get rain for almost six months since last October. So that provides the best opportunity to evaluate wheat performance under dry land conditions. Uh, if you look at the uh, dry land wheat around here at bushland, you will see the plants still alive. Uh, some of the plants will look like this. Uh, you can see they uh, look very good. They, uh, you, you really don't see much water uh, stress symptoms, but if you pull the roots, you will see these plants really don't have many crown roots. But why these plants are survived is because they relate on these roots developed from the seeds we call seminal roots. These roots is pretty much keep this dry land plant alive. Uh, two weeks ago, we get a little bit of rain. Some of these plants uh, develop some crown roots is like this. They uh, these plants will have better survival chance and will probably have better yield under dryland conditions compared with the plants I showed you previously. The roots, the crown roots, both crown roots and seminal roots, they will keep the plants alive to get the high yield. I want to show these plants, they receive a little bit of irrigation uh, last week probably less than one inch of the irrigation. You can see these plants develop a very nice crown roots. These plants will have a little bit higher yield compared with this, uh, the dry land plants I showed you earlier. The, the, the roots is developed in the, uh, in the fall. They can, they can go down to very deep the soil probably three to four feet of the soil to get the water. Last summer and fall we, we received the uh, uh, average, more than average rainfall. That is why this soil water still supply to these uh, wheat plants to help them to survive under such extended long dry conditions in this environment.